of our show. It has been a hell of a week for musicians' birthdays, including Sister Rosetta Tharp, whose work you just heard, courtesy of Madison Cunningham. Sister Rosetta Tharp is the undisputed godmother of rock and roll. The next time you're about to put on an Elvis record, a Chuck Berry record, or Jerry Lee Lewis, or Little Richard, put on Sister Rosetta first and hear the inevitability of everything that came after her. And before we move on, Trevor Lawrence Jr. back there on the drums blew my mind yesterday during rehearsal by informing me that Sister Rosetta Tharp babysat his mom. <laughs> now, I bet no one on stage's mother was babysat by our next birthday honoree, Charles Thompson IV, a.k.a. Frank Black, a.k.a. Black Francis, a.k.a. songwriter and co-lead singer of the Pixies. Pixies, of course, the Boston-based progenitors of alt-rock and grunge in the 90s. Oh, man, if I had a dollar for every time someone changed a conversation about Nirvana into a conversation about the Pixies, <laughs> I'd have $27. <laughs> At great risk to Brittany Haas's and my vocal cords, here is the Pixies' Bone Machine. Cunningham bringing the electric heat in honor of Black Francis's birthday. You know who else's birthday week it is? Doris Day. Doris Day, who learned to sing by listening to Ella Fitzgerald on the radio, went on to become one of the most popular recording artists and then movie stars in the world. I first learned about Doris Day when I was a guest on Upper Prairie Home Companion. The other guest that night was Nellie Mackay, who was just about to record a whole album of Doris Day songs. It got me to fall in love with Doris immediately. Doris turned 97 this week. Doris Day is 97 years young. We'd like to send our love and gratitude to her out there in California via her 1945 hit, My Dreams Are Getting Better All the Time. <laughs> me in my dreams last night my dreams are getting better all the time and what do you know he smiled at me in a different light my dreams are getting better all the time to think that we were strangers a couple of nights ago and though it's a dream Wishing Doris Day a happy birthday. It was 
Richard Manuel's birthday this week. Richard Manuel, co-lead singer of the band, writer of many of their greatest hits, including Tears of Rage, which he co-wrote with Bob Dylan. Here's one of my favorite Richard Manuel compositions, which also happens to be one of his craziest. The great Richard Manuel wrote that song, Jawbone. You know, I've been trying to avoid, to avoid hyperbole in these birthday segments, but we're gonna polish this one off with a tribute to the greatest musician who ever lived. I mean it. I never got a chance to meet the man. He passed away tragically in 1750. <laughs> but Johann Sebastian Bach wrote more perfect pieces of music than anyone I'm aware of. Here's his C major allegro for violin on mandolin.
the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Happy birthday, all of you extraordinary musicians.